I had a bunch of fun making them uh, on this machine here, the Hicktop Hero D3. Um, so let's talk a little bit about it. So full disclosure, Hicktop sent me this machine to test out, to film. Um, they didn't pay me, these are all my honest thoughts, so take that what, what you will. So some of the cool features of this machine are the dual independent extruders. Uh, they're both on the same linear rail, which is a cool feature. It keeps them in line. Um, it also has two lead screws, obviously, for the Z axis, and it will home each side uh, independently. So that's another cool feature to keep your, your gantry level there. Um, the extruders are direct drive, so you can print TPU, ASA, PLA, uh, all, all the exotic materials you want. Uh, one of the things I really liked about this machine was these connectors here. Um, they're quite generic, and this is a big failure point here for, for a lot of machines. Cable strain is a... Um, an issue for most 3D printers. So the ability to just, you know, find that connector type and buy it off Amazon, have it next day shipped is a huge plus for this machine. So with the two dual independent extruders, you can mix materials. So that gives you a lot of options when it comes to um, whatever you're designing, whether you want complex parts to print with ASA soluble support material or uh, if you want two color prints that come out really clean because you don't need to purge your your single extruder so that's a very cool feature of this machine so my favorite print on this machine uh, was the lattice torture test cube uh, that I printed in AMZ 3D black TPU and I've never really had good experiences with TPU, uh, whether it's jammed extruders or extruder gears. Um, but this machine handled it really well. And uh, I've never, I, it, quite honestly, it blew my mind when I pulled that print off the, uh, off the bed and, uh, and started to stretch it and step on it and, uh, it opened up a lot of ideas for me knowing that TPU could be successfully printed in that way. So that was very cool. So I didn't have to do much to this machine. It came pretty much ready to go. Some very simple assembly. Uh, but one thing I did do was put a removable uh, bed on that, on this. So this is the Wham Bam flexible PEX sheet which uh, it just comes with a, a large magnet uh, with adhesive on it and you just pop it right on there like that. So something, you know, that we've seen on other machines. Uh, yeah, but it just makes any printer a whole lot more usable and it makes your prints uh, a lot easier to remove. So that's always good. So the only thing I noticed uh, about this machine that I didn't quite like um, would be every time you power this machine off, it uh, reverts the language back to Chinese. So uh, not a huge thing, probably be fixed uh, with some firmware updates, but uh, that was really the only main thing that I did have an issue with. So a lot of these printers coming out of China as soon as you turn them on, all the fans kick on. They're extremely loud, uh, even if they're running TMC stepper drivers. Uh, but this one, as you can see, is on and at idle. Uh, there's no fan noise. The fans don't come on until the extruders hit a certain temperature. The cooling on the board doesn't come on unless it's in use. So uh, overall, this machine is quite quite quiet. So obviously printing with ASA or soluble support material is a, a big thing for this machine or any machine with dual extruders. So 
Um, hopefully by the time this video goes up, I'll have some sort of model showcasing that feature. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment,